Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? Is it? It's almost five o'clock here. It'd be uh, what seven in Central Time and eight p.m. Almost eight p.m. in Eastern Time. So I hope that you guys are all doing well, and I'm not disturbing dinner or anything like that. But I wanted to hop on here today to talk with you about those dreaded water battles. Uh, I'm not referring to the water fights that are currently going on with the water hose or the water balloons because of the heat wave, but I'm talking about the not fun fights many of us parents have with our kids who are trying to get them to drink more water. Uh, I know I used to struggle with it big time and it's so important for our kids to drink water. I know it seems so simple, but it's so important, especially for our compromised kids because a lot of them have compromised detoxification pathways and honestly we need to flush out all the toxins that they're a spoke that you know that they're exposed to in daily life now a few years ago i realized that i was constantly fighting with my children over the amount of water they were drinking I knew they needed to drink more water as it is important, as I said, for detoxification and just about everything else our body needs to do. But my kids didn't like water. So they always argued with me about it. Um, that all changed when I started putting these eight tips into practice. So if you guys have ever struggled with getting your kid to drink more water um, or water, as you guys would say, <laughs> sit tight because I am sure these tips are going to be helpful for you too. So before we dig in though, I'd love to hear from any of you tuning in live. Tell me in the comments where you guys are from. So I'm going to look over. I know I've got a number of people tuning in live. Um, I'm originally from Australia, as I'm sure many of you can tell by my accent, but I'm now living in Seattle, Washington uh, with my family. And I work with families all across the USA, helping them to reduce their, AD, their child's ADHD symptoms naturally. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said today, I'm going to share my best tips and tricks to get kids drinking more water. Once I started using these tips in my own home, the battle of water <laughs> completely disappeared. We still use water balloons and use the hose during summer months, but in terms of drinking. So number one, take water with you everywhere you go. Not only will this save you money and keep you guys healthier, since you won't be running around through a drive through to pick up a soda because your kids are thirsty, but it will also keep hydration at the top of mind. Number two, use a fun cup, okay? I know it sounds so simple, but honestly, it does work. There's just something about a fun cup that makes drinking water so much easily. Consider a small cup for your, for your child because it will fit into their hands and make it a lot easier and them not be overwhelmed by the amount of water they've got to drink. Number three, use a straw. I don't know if this is like scientifically proven or not, but in my experience and in the families that I work with, drinking water from a straw equals more water consumed. I don't know what it is. I'd love if someone could share that science, science with me, but it really does work. Um, I even bought a special bottle here for myself that actually has a straw all the way down. And I find myself drinking so much water because all I have to do is, you know, suck up rather than, you know, tip the bottle to go to, uh, for me to be drinking water. Number four, and this is really probably one of the key ones here, add fresh fruit or veggies like strawberries, lemon, cucumbers, basil, mint. I mean, there's so many. One of the reasons many of our kids don't drink water is because it doesn't really taste like anything. If you add fresh fruit to give it a splash of flavor, you could even freeze these fruits into ice cube trays to add them to the glasses. And you can even soak them overnight in the water in the fridge. And honestly, it just tastes so wonderful. Number five, buy tiny cups or bottles. Not only do these smaller cups fit in children's hands better, but they're also fun, just like those cups. And even consider a reward system. So number six, when your child reaches a certain goal, they get a sticker. So many stickers equal a reward. You would be surprised how much more water my kids drank when they were positively motivated. They wanted to get whatever it was. It's 
always a good trick for anything that you could do. Number seven is set a good example. Our kids are not going to want to drink water if we are constantly downing soda or coffee. They will most likely follow the examples we set with them. Number eight, don't drink other things. Okay. So your child really doesn't need any other type of drink. They don't need milk. They don't need fruit juice. There are other ways to get the nutrients that milk provides and fruit is often chock full of sugar. So it's much better to get the nutrients from fresh fruit instead of fruit juice. Stick with water or smoothies for your child's beverage and they are sure to drink more water because they won't be full on the other drinks. So guys, these are my top tips to getting your child to drink more water. Do you have any more tips that you can share with me that you guys have found to be successful? Share them in the comments so we can all learn from one another. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's live. I will be back tomorrow actually with uh, burning questions and we've got a number of burning questions tomorrow. Normally I do just one, but once a month I do a number of them from you guys from the community. So I will be back tomorrow with those burning questions. Guys, hope you have a wonderful evening. Take care and I'll talk to you all soon.